What up? What's good, everybody? This is Dark Monster Moon 87. I just came back from my vacation from Florida. It was fantastic. I, I almost went everywhere over there. But the only thing was that it was fucking hot over there. <laughs> okay, but back to the subject. I will be talking about the pros and cons of Shahu Ba. Now, the pros are he's strong as hell, his defense is decent. But what makes him a monster is the R1 button. Once you tap that R1 button, he's faster than Ryu Hayabusa and both hairs in the game. He outruns the horses in the game. You don't even need to equip a horse on your team once you have him on your team. I mean, there's so much you can accomplish with this character. A lot of people have been overlooking him. And I said, you know what, let me try him out. And I honestly don't regret it. I recommend him for any beginner or anybody that's been playing this game. Just try him out, build him up, put whatever skills you want to put on him or anything. Another thing I have to point out is that every level 5 weapon that you build up on max has a special ability. Now, a lot of people don't know that shit. You know, somebody on GameFAQ, which I was reading recently, was talking about it and he was making a guide. I, I forgot what the hell his name was. If you go on GameFAQ, he's talking about it. He made a, he made a little guide or whatever. He's still making the guide. It's, it's under construction, basically, but little by little, he's finding certain shit out about the weapons and everything. Shout out to him for taking his time doing that. Right now I'm also doing the same thing after I just found that out because it amazed me. I said, holy shit, it's such a skill in the weapons. So I've been maxing out every weapon ever since, but once you max this character's level 5 weapon out, it's off the hook. It's just off the hook. Look at this shit. So yeah. If you want a fast character that'll finish the stage real quick and get the job done, Zahuba is that character. The only con though is, you know, uh, if he gets jumped and you don't tap that R1, then his health might get a little chipped depending on the difficulty. If you're playing on Chaos, uh, you know, but if you know how to play and everything, then, then you're good. You'll be alright. You just equip the Zorb and Osmosis and you run through the stage like nothing. It won't be a problem. Question I got to an answer from a lot of viewers and people that have been messaging me is that they ask me why do you not have a gaming partner? I honestly don't know to be honest with you, but I've been trying to work on it and one of these days I hope I get a gaming partnership for my cinema or one of these gaming channels, you know, and when that happens, I will be so fucking happy, you have no idea. I mean, that's one of the main things I'm trying to work at right now. And when that happens, the viewers can be more entertained and the videos and everything can look even better, you know? I can uh, do the thumbnails and all that good shit. And it, it will let everybody know that, oh look, he, he got something out of all his hard work that he's been doing with his channels lately. Yeah, hopefully that happens, you know? I'm trying to be patient, but at the same time, now that I'm back from my vacation, I'm gonna work hard at it. and. Unfortunately, it would suck because I don't I don't like doing that sometimes. But I have to spend time away from my family in order to do this. You know, but it's all good though. Uh, my family and the viewers and everybody supporting me doing this. So I'm actually glad and honored that everybody so far is enjoying the viewing entertainment that I have for you right there. You can run through like basically any stage with this character. It's just a, a amazing. I haven't used the horse not one time with this character lately. I, I feel, you know, it, it feels like you're spamming the R1 button, but in a way, it's like fucking. It, you know, it's speeding him up. 
he's unstoppable with that I just find it real crazy that a lot of people overlook this character I mean it still shocks me uh, I'm like holy shit like how, how would you overlook this character to me I think he's, a, he's one of the top tiers right now like honestly there's other characters that I've been playing with that I find out that they're strong as fuck and everybody is asking me questions like can you make a guide and everything showing um, what characters can be overpowered and everything and I, honest, I honestly I, I, that's gonna happen that's gonna happen bro. that's been one of my ideas or one of my plans already so most definitely you will see that guy I will be putting out a series that's gonna be about a lot of a lot of characters that can be overpowered depending on what skills you put on their weapon and everything and you know the effects of certain level 5 weapons that can happen which I will be showing also and that's that's gonna be off the hook I'm honest. I'm really looking forward to that. I'll tell you that. The other question that's off topic with this game that a few people are asking me is Are you gonna put more combo videos of Sangoku Basa or 3D Tagi? Hopefully that collapse still happens. If it doesn't happen, then I'll put my own collab out there to be honest with you. It's supposed to come out this summer in July. But let's see what happens. Yeah, I I will put more videos up. You know, but right now I'm just working on Warriors of Ochi 3. So after I'm basically done with every bit of idea that half of this game, then I work on other games. I will be still working on other games, but I'm talking about like guides and you know really serious shit. The thing that had me in shock also a few hours ago is a whole bunch of people. I mean it wasn't like 10, 20 or even 50 people, it was a couple of hundred which I said holy shit <laughs> but I actually made a name for myself ever since I started putting out the guides and everything for Warriors of Roku 3 and showing off characters and everything they called me the beast of Warriors of Roku 3 monster unleash the beast I said holy shit now, now I done heard everything <laughs> it, it just bugged me out I said wow but it's an it's an honor though I'm, I'm actually happy that you know people are putting a name out for me out there for um, me playing this game saying I'm, I'm great at it and everything even though there's a lot of great players out there that play this game I'm just honored to be on that list. It's, it's cool as hell. It's a, it's a great feeling. This, this, damn, this shocks me. Look at this. Even if the character blocks, still gets his life taken away. It looks like he has multi on his weapon. But no, he doesn't have multi on his weapon. That's just the R1. He's just an awesome character, shall we buy point blank period. So choose him, put him on your team. If you're making a new team and you're trying to figure out oh who I should put, he's one of the characters you should put. Trust me. You won't regret it. Honestly, you won't. If you don't put them on your team you're making now, then put them on another team you're making on the new stage, but this character is fucking awesome. Boy. Holy shit. Look at this. 
die. Oh shit. Look at this. He's just running through the competition, literally. He goes on one side of the screen like nothing. Look, I try the horse out. Check this shit out. Look how slow the horse is going. I literally got the fuck off the horse. I said, you know what? It's not even worth taking a horse. Let me go on foot. <laughs> fuck this. I'm going on foot. Fuck you, horse. Look at this shit. Oh, man. This character is badass, man. This, this is my new favorite character. New favorite character. Holy shit. He amazes me every single time. Every, every single time I get to a certain destination on this stage. Look at, look at the kill rate. And, and I haven't even been playing for that damn long. That's what's crazy. There's, there's people that usually, you know, take long on a stage, like at least 19 minutes sometimes to get this <laughs> this many kills with one character. They would have to switch the character over and over. God damn, look at this shit. Wow. Let's see, he runs kind of slow without the R1. But his speed, his regular running speed ain't that bad neither, you know? So, it's, it's all good. So there you go. This is one of the best characters in Warriors of Road G3. In my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion, but that's what I think. I, I honestly think that's true, though. You know? So... Those of you that are wondering what skills does he have on a weapon, you're gonna see that in a few. So be patient. You will see that grasshopper. <laughs> oh shit! I also will be showing all the costumes Shahuba has, and that's probably it for now for this solo run. I'll be doing a whole bunch of different solo runs for uh, different characters and everything and showing off their costumes on the English version and Japanese version too for those of you that been asking about the Strike Force costumes and everything I'm actually waiting on a couple of more to come out and everything so for now I might just put up Dynasty Warriors Strike Force, the actual game, so that way you guys have a good image of how everybody's costume is gonna look like anyway. <laughs> and that game's also hot as hell, too. If you guys are wondering or never played it before. But yeah. Finally, the video's over. Rico victory, Shahuba. You're fucking awesome, dude. This stage is, is great, also. Just to let everybody know. If it's your first time playing, you unlock that stage. Rescue at Yi Ling. Oh my god, you'll you'll level up your weapons and and poly one round of that stage and level up so many damn times it's not even funny but if you have dlc stages then there's really no need for that the dlc stages have some of them have almost max stars so when you play normal or hard mode you're good but if you just play on chaos mode then that's even better but most of the time i'll play on hard mode and chaos mode only play on normal or something like that if I have like a level 5 or something and I'm trying to build up his weapon and everything. Alright, right now that's costume number 1. Let's check and see here real quick. Press triangle, change this costume right here. You go to change character to change the costumes. Yeah, that's his costume 3. 
his costume three and four is like one and two except he doesn't have his helmet I like one better because he looks like a knight two and four is nah I don't know that's okay uh, I, I like the first costume better yeah when I first started playing with him he was around level you know because I haven't been trying Shahuba for a while but I recently started playing as him and level grinding him again so his weapon wasn't even maxed out a few minutes ago his weapon his level 5 weapon was just starting I only played that this stage that I just finished twice and that's what happened that's a smooth list and everything that I just passed if you notice and read it real carefully he has hyper armor and that's basically it for the solo thank you all for watching also be on the lookout for more exclusives and no you're not gonna hear this is Dark Moss Moon 87 welcome to my gaming channel no I'm sorry this is not the type of channel that does that but thank you all for watching Ha <laughs> ha.